Lisa G, founder of Your Tasty Life. Are you frustrated because you think you're doing everything right and the pounds aren't melting away? Well, stay tuned because in today's episode, I'm gonna reveal the sneaky culprits for slowing down your metabolism. You may be one of the millions of Americans on very common prescription medications that slow your weight loss. What? I know, it's crazy. But you may wanna have a conversation with your doctor and talk to him about blood pressure medication, medications like Lyrica for fibromyalgia, various diabetes medications, and medications for depression, for example, are all linked with inability to lose weight or slow your body's ability to lose weight. So in other words, it's not your fault. You might be on a medication that's a culprit for slowing your metabolism down. So you can find information online, but by all means, I'm not advising you to stop your medications, but have a conversation with your doctor and see if there's alternatives that are not giving you issues in the weight loss category. Another area that's very common that keeps the pounds on is an underactive thyroid or a high hypothyroid. What this means is the thyroid, which is our metabolic engine, it's located kind of in our neck here like a butterfly, the metabolic engine isn't working so well. So if your metabolic engine isn't working so well, you're not going to burn calories as well. And hence, it can be a culprit in difficult weight loss. So what do you need to do? You want to talk to your physician and make sure they're getting a full thyroid panel for you. I've seen time and again women go to their doctor, talk to them about, I can't lose weight, and they run what's called a TSH test, a thyroid stimulating hormone. That's not good enough. That misses a lot of underactive thyroid. So what you want to do is you want to have the doctor run a full panel, which is called a couple of things in there. I want you to ask for specific words. Free T4, free T3, your TSH, as well as antibodies are very important. They should know what this is. If they don't know, get with a doctor who does. Another thing that's very common is iodine deficiency. And why would I bring that up? Well, that relates to how your thyroid works. You see the active thyroid hormone, T3, has three molecules of iodine on it. T4 has four molecules. So if we do not have enough iodine, we could also be adding that as a possible uh, reason for why the thyroid isn't very very active. Again, speaking with your doctor, but iodine or kelp tablets are available at most over-the-counter and nutritional stores to, to purchase that. Another area I want to talk about is belly fat, and that is often the cause from insulin resistance. So yes, belly fat we're talking about. When you have belly fat, that generally means there's some insulin resistance going on. What is that? Well, insulin is a hormone that we need to burn fat. And we produce a lot of insulin when we're eating a lot of carbohydrates. So the very diet that is often recommended to eat, a lot of healthy whole grains and you know all of these cereals and breads and so forth is the exact dietary advice that gets you in the problem in the first place. The only way you can reduce your insulin levels if it's a problem is reducing carbohydrate intake. Carbohydrates by far raise our insulin more than any other food group. So there's more to this story, but looking into insulin resistance could be an issue. The last area I wanna to mention today is some more related to hormones. We call these sex hormones. What? Not talking about getting in bed sex, but they're important to have a libido or sex drive. Sex hormones are very important. There are things such as estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. Now, if your estrogen is elevated and or your progesterone and testosterone are low, you could have a problem with your metabolism related to those hormones. How would you know? You have to get them tested. Now, many conventional doctors don't offer this type of testing. If you went with a naturopathic or integrative physician, they would certainly be able to offer you some testing to check your hormones. It's a simple saliva test, or some tests use urine to test, as well as saliva, depending what they're looking at. So in other words, there's testing available to look at the whole array of possible hormone imbalance that could be going on. 
So women, if you're in your 30s and 40s, I would tell you, please take a peek at the hormone piece. It generally always has a place to pull uh, some weight difficulties. So not every woman has, of course, a hormone imbalance, but I will tell you from my personal experience, I see it very, very commonly. It's, a, it's usually a part of the culprit, part of the whole puzzle. So last but not least is the stressor fat called cortisol or stress fat we call it. So again, going back to our fat, what can help raise this and make this difficult to release? A hormone called cortisol. And what is cortisol? It's a stress response hormone. We release it in the morning when we're getting up for a day. The problem is some of us living this fight or flight lifestyle where we're stressed out all day long, we're releasing high levels of cortisol all day long and it makes it impossible to burn fat in the flames of cortisol. So stress redu reduction techniques and various lifestyle things are important. With all of these components, it's looking at the whole picture. So here's your TMWTD. What? Tell me what to do. Well, we're going to break it down here. Ladies, this is what we need to do. We need to be investigating further if there's any metabolic disturbances. Speak English, Lisa. What are you talking about? Go to your doctor and have a conversation with uncovering possible imbalances related to thyroid, insulin, and sex hormones. These could often unlock a barrier that you're having related to weight release. So this discussion is very important to have with your physician and also talking about possible medications that could be either increasing your appetite or making it more difficult for you to lose weight. So that's another tasty bite you can really sink your teeth into.